Well, next tonight to the train strike that forced thousands of commuters across the region to rethink their journeys today. Members of the RMT union walked out after Northern Rail refused to guarantee that there would always be a qualified train guard on board their services. Well, more than half of usual trains were cancelled, leading to delays on the roads and problems getting to work. Hannah Miller reports. This is what rush hour looked like in Outwood this morning. Not eight trains to Leeds, but one. After a strike by train workers forced Northern Rail to cut more than half of its services. In Huddersfield, some commuters were stuck. I can't get to work because there's no, no trains. I would have to go from here to Leeds, from Leeds to Barnsley, from Barnsley by bus to Penniston. Meanwhile, many stayed away. In Todmorden, the platforms were largely deserted and there was disagreement about whether the inconvenience was worth it. I'm in support of it. I think, you know, um, uh, conductless trains, not a good idea at all. Whether it's going to happen or not, these, these guardless trains, um, it's way in the future. For me, it's inconvenience. So I use a bike as well, because um, if all else fails, it's ride it all the way. He wasn't the only commuter to have made alternative arrangements. Roads and buses across the region were busier than normal. But while many found ways to avoid the station today, there's uncertainty about the future as Northern Rail embark on a programme of modernisation and refuse to guarantee that there will always be a second member of staff on board. For Doug Pawley, who campaigned for the rights of wheelchair users on buses, the prospect of trains without guards is a concern. Most of the stations don't have staff on them and if the guard isn't there and actively checking the platform and able to put ramps down or provide any other assistance disabled people need then that means that disabled people can't travel. It's really quite serious. It's more than just about who gets to shut the doors. It can have profound implications for disabled people. This strike is, is all about the travelling public safety. It's not about additional monies, it's not about pensions or anything else. This is purely to keep the safety of the train guard on board every service. Trains are expected to be running as normal again tomorrow. It could be a much longer wait until this dispute is resolved. Hannah Miller, ITV News. Well, earlier I spoke to Sharon Keith, who's the regional director for Arriva Rail North, and began by asking her how she felt today's day of action had gone from her point of view. Firstly, I'd like to thank customers for all of their support in making their travel arrangements today. So far, things have gone very well and according to plan. We're on target to deliver all of our service and, and a few more again. Couldn't all this have been avoided completely if Northern Rail had just been open about whether or not there is going to be a security trained guard on the services? Uh, we're, we're actually investing in a large modernisation programme and we're still in our very early stages. And we're yet to develop our plans about um, our onboard resource and we want to work in conjunction with the RMT to do that. We're investing heavily in new trains and refurbished trains, investing in our stations and we want to make sure that our people are accessible and available to our customers um, both on trains and on stations and we want to work with the RMT to develop the shape of that. Can you give a definitive answer as to whether or not your services will have a security trained guard which the RMT are saying is essential for safety reasons? Uh, what I can say is we want to work with the RMT. We haven't developed our plans yet. We recognise that this is a very unique and diverse network with lots of different types of services. And we want to make sure that when we decide which method of operation we, we work on a train, we do that in conjunction with the RMT to deliver the best service and the safest service for our customer and the best position for our people. But well, the, the RMT are saying that they won't go back to the table without that guarantee, so that's going to mean more strikes and more disruption for your, for your passengers. We would urge the RMT to come and meet with us. We've yet to have a single train capable of operating with driver control operation. Um, we're a year away from that, and we want to make sure that we work together to develop, develop a fantastic modernisation programme to deliver enhanced rail services for people in the north, the service that everybody deserves. OK, well, Sharon Keith from Northern Rail, I'm afraid that's all we've got time for for the moment, but thank you.